Hello. I'm so glad you could join me for daily prayer today. We begin with a reading from Psalm 67, continuing from last week, verses 3 and 4. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you rule the peoples justly and guide the nations of the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now Landis brings us our daily hymn. I exalt thee. Exalted far above all God, for Thou, O Lord, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above. Psalm 118, verses 1 through 4. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let Israel say, his love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, his love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his love endures forever. Amen and amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, we present ourselves with all humility before you to offer our morning sacrifice of love and thanksgiving. Eternal God, we bless you on behalf of all your creatures and acknowledge your priceless benefits bestowed on us in Christ Jesus. Amen. Our scripture reading comes from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36, verses 25 through 28. 
I will sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your uncleanness and from all your idols. I will cleanse you. A new heart I will give you, and a new spirit I will put within you, and I will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and make you follow my statutes and be careful to observe my ordinances. Then you shall live in the land that I gave to your ancestors, and you shall be my people, and I will be your God. May God add a blessing to the reading and hearing of his word. Let us pray. Let us lift up our hearts in praise and thanksgiving to our Savior and Lord, praying glory to you, O holy Jesus. You offered yourself a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. Glory to you, O holy Jesus. You rose again the third day from the dead and had all power given to you both in heaven and on earth. Glory to you, O holy Jesus. Take full possession of our hearts and make us like you, all kindness, goodness, gentleness, meekness, and long-suffering. Glory to you, O holy Jesus. God, we come to you in the spirit of those things that we seek to be, goodness and gentleness and humbleness, and offer to you these prayers that are in our hearts. We pray for Jesse Ramirez in the hospital. I pray for Dolores and Louis Marcelino's son. I give you thanks for this beautiful sunny day, but Lord, you know that it's dry and we need rain here. The crops need rain. It's the lifeblood here. And Lord, I pray for all of those who are anticipating the vaccination and those who are struggling in this economy. Pray especially for those still recovering from the cold wave and the many storms that have been spawned by weather in the last few weeks. And together we pray saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Be blessed today.